everyone, this is Marcy Super on the Marcy Super channel, and today we got Mayakashis for you boys. If you guys don't know, last week we were kind of playing around with Mayakashis. I couldn't get it down right, but I finally got the formula down. Um, if you guys could do me a favor, make sure you hit this video with a like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. If you guys get every video this week to 10 likes, I will drop a fourth video later this week. So do that for me. And let's get to the reviews. See you guys in a second. Um, I think they do, like, they can play around with the Sharon Nui's. But this is definitely a, um, this is definitely a... This is definitely something that, like, you gotta deal with. We're normal summon solitaire actually, cause then we want to get rid of the solitaire, the special summon, the Daki on defense, and then we activate Yuki's skill. We go there. We pitch down the spectral sword, and then you just go. You climb. This is this is the most boring part of this whole entire thing. Well, if you ever get a chance, just hop into the stream and let me know what his name is when you remember it. Um, Daki's effect. So now you kind of just climb. I'm so happy Maxi is not in this game. Maxi would ruin us. Um, or Boros card. This just reminds me of all the freaking Nobutama units in Vanguard. There goes Daki. There we go with the Tengu. Tengu, 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 the wing Mayakashis. Tengu, Tengu, Tengu. And then we go into the beautiful, 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 beautiful Yuko. Yuko. The graceful Mayakashi. We will not use Daki's effect now. We will set this. And then we'll enter. Uh, I'm trying to think. Oh, well, that's definitely getting Cosmic Cyclone. Let's see. Guard Dragon Justia? Cosmo Brain, okay. She's gonna give it. Let's turn that on. I need to make sure I can react to whatever he summons. Because if he just, honestly, if he just goes blue eyes. Um. Yeah, he's just going blue eyes. Okay, we're cool. He is playing with the Dios Kaiba. So. It's kind of spooky. Oh, he's going to alternate evolution. Is he really going to just pop my Ten My Yoko? Yes. Tengu's effect. Because then this thing can't attack. So we're going to actually banish. Let's see. We're going to banish the the Daki in the grave. Yes. Tengu will pop this back row. And then we'll Cosmic Cyclone that other back row. We'll get rid of that. Uh, I need to... Oh, that's exactly what I needed right now. Activate Mayakashi Returns. Mayakashi Return will let me grab Yuko. Yeah, we'll add it to the hand. And then now we're going to level Augmentation. Reveal you will select Tengu. We'll activate Yuki. Yeah? Yeah, because that'll make her eight. And then we'll Normal Summon. Ooh. Ooh. No. We haven't done anything yet. We'll normal summon Daki. And then we're just gonna go special summon um, Sun Saga. 
Summon Sun Saga. Um, I'm not going to treat because now I don't care about destroying it because now we'll use Sun Saga's effect. Shuffle all these boys back. And I don't care about destroying anything because this is going to just get attacked over anyway. Um, and actually, we can activate Spectral Sword's effect. We'll banish it in Yuki. Special Summon Ouroboros Cart in defense. Um, oh, we ruined it. We ruined it. No. Battle phase. Because if I do, am I able to get another Spectral Sword in Grave? We can go back to Synchro Summoning. So it's okay if Ouroboros Cart or Ouroboros... Ouro... Oboro Gurama. I need to stop saying Ouroboros Cart. It's pop because it goes in the grave, um, and then we can go back to synchro climbing. Um, oh, they don't have. <laughs> Goodness gracious. So let's see. Rex. Oh, I hate Rex. Oh, no. He's using Light Poison with Alpha. Never mind. He's not using Titans. Um, let's see. How's he going to do this? Playing, playing Alistair. What was he playing with, though? If he summons, I was gonna say, Alien Invoke? Okay. Alien Invoke. Hey, Chief, you hate to see it. And he doesn't have to, oh no, Brody. And now we got, okay, so first we Cosmic Cyclone. Get rid of the back row. We're cool with that. We'll normal summon Solitaire. We'll activate Solitaire's effect. Special summon from the deck are Daki. We activate Yuki's effect. Special summon her in defense. And now we drop off the Spectral Sword. And now we start the climb. We go with the Ouroboros, Ouroboros. You didn't even text me back the other day, Root. I'm out here trying to sell like a freaking used car salesman. You didn't even call me, you didn't even text me back, Root. Now I gotta air my dirty laundry with Root out on stream because he doesn't love me anymore. He doesn't want me to make him filthy rich so he can move to LA with me and let me love him forever, but no. He doesn't want to text me back when I sound like a huge car salesman. But I love him, so it doesn't matter. Um, Tengu. Actually, Root, yes, I will duel you if you do it for a video. If you promise to do a really stupid video with me, I promise to duel you. Okay, so we go actually Yoko. So this is interesting, actually. We're not gonna use Daki's effect, but we will use Mayakashi Returns to grab Mayakashi Winter and then drop it into the grave. Add the winter to your hand, no. Winter. There's nothing to destroy. So what we'll do is we'll just set the buddy force and it will end turn. Um, I don't see a problem arising right now. Invocations effect. No point of destroying me. He's, he's playing alien. I'm not afraid of the alien matchup. When I, if I like, mm, see, I say that, but then Alien Ammonite is a one card synchro. Alistair's in hand, what are the other two cards? And he even runs the limit remove reverse. Like, this is really an invoke build. Like, this is crazy. Um. 
Discard one card, send four red tile miles from your deck to your graveyard. He, no, is this? Is this what I think it is? It is a point. Oh my goodness. Alistair the Invoke. That's okay. So he can't use Invocation's effect. He can't add Alistair back to his hand this turn. So, and then the cool thing about, like, we actually may have had this. Um, what else he send? Sinister Serpent. Like, he didn't send, like, bad four cards. As long as we don't see... Oh, he can... Sp when this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard. Ooh. Cal Kaluga? So it can only attack with one monster per turn. And if he destroys Yoko right now, it's not a big deal. But if he doesn't destroy Yoko right now, it's the Me the Megalania that I'm scared of. Um, oh, but no, no, he put in attack mode, so it doesn't matter anymore. That's all that matters. Um, we'll let him destroy Yoko, we'll bring back Tengu, then we'll activate Super Team Buddy Force Unite to bring, um, to bring back Yoko? Um, what do we want to banish? We don't really want to banish anything. Um, we can always get another Yuki later. I haven't got rid of the Spectral Sword yet. So Tengu? And then during the end phase, we'll go super... Buddy Force will activate Tengu and then we'll bring back Yoko. Oh, you can't activate Yoko's effect. That's crazy. Um, let's look at our list and let's see. We ran out. Okay, so. We got this. We have um, Squire Saga. Activate. Activate Spectral Swords um, effect. We'll banish um, Tsukamoto. Special Summon Squire Saga. Oh, are we out of... Oh, we're out of stuff. Oh, this sucks. Booty cheeks. Wait. Oh, you can only activate one effect per turn. That's crazy. That Kaluga was harsher than I thought. Sinister Serpent. Oh. That's crazy. If he destroys um, Squire Saga. If he attacks Squire Saga, we are screwed. One card face down. Who are you getting rid of? Smart. Um. Not the worst. Um, activate. What do we have? List. <sighs> what happens when I banish you? I have to get rid of... Like, I have to find a way to get rid of... Something. Confirm. Treasure's Trap Hole. That actually might work. As long as Tenku can be brought, um, 
I think as long as Tenku can be brought back, we can actually do this. No, activate. Actually, no, winner's effect. You banish, um... Banish the Squire Saga, actually. Would bring back Yoko? We summon Yoko? And since he was brought back from the grave, we pop the Megalon Vanya. We go into battle phase. We attack the Sinister Serpent and turn. He has to banish the Sinister Serpent. Okay. So we're at a thousand light points. Um, as long as he does not summon another Megalogania, we should be really Gucci. Um, but if he summons another one, which I think is a two of, we will have an issue. Oh goodness. He sets a card. Okay, so he doesn't act, I know one of those are invocation. So one of those is an invocation and one of those is an actual card that I don't want to deal with. Uh, I don't know what the other card is. I want to see what it is. Honestly, if it's like anything that's bad, we're done for. Okay, we do a crispy nine, we in turn. I don't think he has anything left in his grave. A. A re, okay. So he can always use this and add an alien card. Um, I think we might, I don't know. Now I'm shook, I only have a thousand light points left. I didn't think this was gonna last so long. Um, oh, he just ends, cool. We're done, draw for turn. I know that last card is invocation. We'll activate Mayakashi Returns. I don't think I have another winter, so we'll get Metamorphosis. And that way we can always Ninetail Fox. We can drop the Ninetail Fox to do things. I don't care. I, I am not gonna use level augmentation this game. Battle phase. Take the crispy nine and turn, and then we'll use metamorphosis. Um, I don't know. Ah, he gave up. Cool. Definitely can. Definitely has a hard problem dealing with big tall monsters. Wait, this guy was cog dropped all the way to plat one and from plat six. Oh goodness. Yeah, that happens. We are seeing way more Dragoonities um, running around today. He just set the whole board. Draw. Activate Mayakashi's returns. Oh goodness, this is... If we can start the climb, we won't have an issue. Yes. Actually, if we start the climb, we definitely won't have an issue. So... How do we do this? Normal Daki. Waiting for a choke point. Waiting for one choke point. Activate Yuki's effect. Waiting for you to do something. We will pitch away the special sword because we have nine. Ooh, no. I forget. Now you don't can't do that combo. So the problem that it is is that you can't do the combo with um, a Sun Saga this way. But Ninetale Fox is still very needed. Adaki's effect. Summon Daki. Waiting. Okay, it does not look like he can really deal with me. At least with Ouroboros on board, we can, um, Ouroboros and Grave, we can protect ourselves from destruction. 
Um. Now other cards can't be affected. Oh, now I can make her my opponent mill. Every time I do something like this, it's just it makes it easy. Um, uh, they definitely should have let the Mayakashis be able to special like whenever their specials have to activate their effect and make it once per turn. If we go all the way, if he lets me go all the way to Yoko, I will laugh. Like, what if he just has a floodgate trap hole waiting for me once I get to Yoko? Um. So we have Yoko. We will not activate. The, yeah, we'll activate Daki's effect. Um. We'll set Metamorphosis. We'll set Super Team Buddy Force Unites. Battle phase. Yoko will just run into this. And if it gets destroyed, oh, Spike Shield with Chains. Okay, I see you in turn. Um, I think the best we can do is if we see that he's going to trigger, um, mm, or brochures protect from battle. Oh, he ain't got nothing for me. We'll go, we'll go Metamorphosis, we'll discard the Ninetales, and then we'll bring back Tengu to pop, to pop, um, let's see, what's the problem? And I wonder what the second card is. Um, we'll activate, no, oh yeah, we'll activate, um, Red Ninetales. We'll get rid of Tengu and then we'll get rid of Daki. Summon Ninetales. And then now we'll activate Super Buddy Force Unites, target Yoko, and then Special Summon Tengu to get rid of the other back row. And we'll just get rid of it. A uh, last day of witch. Okay, he thinks I'm. That's crazy. We do Mayakashi returns, and then we'll actually just drop the winner. Add the winner to your hand, no. So we'll just set up for more things later. And he gave up. So yeah, we did an OTK that turn. Woo, baby. This is Marcy, Super to Marcy, Super Channel, and today I got Mayakashi's for you guys. Mayakashi's. <laughs> Ooh, a hiccup. Mayakashi is a very interesting deck with a really cool premise, something that lets you continuously synchro climb. Um, this deck was really hard to kind of nail down something. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna explain my deck choices, what I would change, um, or what you guys might want to change in the future. We run one Ninetale Fox. The reason why I run Ninetale Fox is because you want, sometimes you want your Mayakashi synchro monsters in the grave to bring them back with card effects. And Ninetale Fox is the best way of dealing this. Um, some people also run a Ninetale Fox because in your extra deck, instead of running Squire Saga, we see some people running um, Shogun Saga. So that is a good choice. But either, Bill, you want to run two Ninetale Fox, mostly because you can get rid of the two monsters. You can get rid of two monsters on the board, summon Ninetale Fox, and then that gives you Synchros to bring back from the grave. Um, I wouldn't cut this card, I wouldn't up it, one is perfect. We're on double certain Nui Solitaires. We actually run this for two different reasons. You can tribute him and special summon your Daki, the playstater, playstarter of this deck. And then when he's banished, you can bring back a banished Sharon Nui monster. So let's say you end up banishing your Spectral Sword for its effect. You banish your Sun Saga um, to proc one of the Mayakashi's effect. The same with Skyer Saga, you can always special summon it back when it's banished, and you are going to be banishing it quite a lot. 
because of your Mayakashi synchro sun synchro monsters. We run two Dakis. Some people are running three. I don't think three is needed because you have solitaire. You can just run two. Um, you can control with one Daki, the Graceful Mayakashi, um, on the board. When a Mayakashi monster is special summoned from the extra deck, you can, while this card is in the graveyard, you can special summon this card, but you can't special summon anything but Mayakashis for the rest of the turn. Um, a lot of the Mayakashi, well, Mayakashi Daki and Mayakashi Yuki have that stipulation, and all the Synchro monsters have that stipulation. No, the Synchro monsters don't have that stipulation. Just Daki and Yuki. I run two Spectral Swords um, for a couple of reasons. Spectral Sword can synchro from the grave and it helps bring out your odd number, um, your odd number guys. Like you can get all these boys. Even you can um, recur Squire Saga if um, Tukumgumo is in the grave. So I run two. Some people don't run two. Some people are opting to not run it at all. Some are opting to running it at two. It's really going to be up to you guys how to do it. But I run two, I like the combo. And then like I said, if you end up taking out Squire Saga for Shogun Saga, Spectral Sword and Ninetales is an instant Shogun Saga. Um, and then you can always go into Sun Saga with Daki. So well, you can kind of can do it. There's a lot of cool stuff you can do with it. And then we run three Yuki's. Yuki is good because it's a foolish burial when it special summons, it special summons itself and then becomes a fear of um, a foolish burial. And then with our skill level augmentation, we can take any of our level seven Shiranui's or Mayakashi's, make them eight and then synchro summon into Sun Saga. And I'll tell you why we do that with Sun Saga. For our spell and traps, we run triple cosmic cyclones because I hate back rows more than I hate my own life. Um, triple Mayakashi Returns. Mayakashi Return is a Foolish Burial and a Search card. Take a Mayakashi from your deck, either add it to your hand or drop it to the graveyard. A lot of times, it just depends on what you want. Um, you can use it to add Yuki to hand or Daki to hand, or even sending Yuki to grave, but you can also send Mayakashi Winner to grave. And the reason why you want to do that is because the second effect of Mayakashi Winner is banish this card and the zombie monster from your graveyard target one Mayakashi monster in your graveyard and special summon it. And that's how you banish like your Shirinui monsters. You banish whatever you need to bring to bring back more Mayakashis. And then the first, first effect of Mayakashi winner is send this card and one Mayakashi um, to the graveyard and draw one card, which you can only use each effect of Mayakashi winter, winter once per turn. So if you have a Mayakashi on board that you need to drop in grave, you can always use Mayakashi winner to do that. Some people are running it at two. I think two is a little too much. One is perfect. And then for the Mayakashi, the last Mayakashi card, we run Mayakashi Metamorphosis. Drop a card, target a Mayakashi that's banished or in your graveyard, special summon it. Your opponent can't target cards with card effects this turn. You cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck this turn, except for Mayakashi monsters. This card is awesome. Um, it makes it really cool if you get rid of Old Boris card, because it makes monsters not be able to destroy it by battle and not be affected by effects. Um, it just reoccurs like it's all about re bringing back your synchro monsters that are in the grave and metamorphosis works even better because it gets cards from the banished zone which is probably the only way that this deck can compete with dark magician and then for our last trap we run two super team buddy force unites pick a card on the field summon a card from the grave with the same original type but if super team buddy force unite gets destroyed you can bring back you can set a um, super team buddy force unite from the deck to the fill and if you do it during your opponent's turn you can special summon it you can use it your next turn so that's super freaking awesome for our extra deck monsters let's go up the synchro climb we run Ouroboro gamma the will mayakashis if a synchro monster that you possess is level five is destroyed by battle you can banish the zombie monster from your graveyard special summon this card and then when the special summon my monsters can't be destroyed by battle so a lot of these guys is if a monster, if a synchro monster two levels higher is destroyed, bring it out and an effect to go off. For Suki Gomo, it is a level seven, and when it's brought back, um, each player mills the top three cards of their deck. Tengu is if a level nine is destroyed, he brings brought back and it pops a spell and trap. And if Yoko, if it's eleven or higher, 
which you don't need to worry about in this deck because we don't have 11 or higher. Um, it brings, you can banish zombie and bring it back, but when it's special summon, it pops one monster on the board. So this is kind of like your boss monster in a deck. And for sure, Nui monsters, we run Squire Saga, mostly because you can banish your uh, Mayakashis. You can banish one of your Mayakashis um, and then apply the effect. So you can, for zombies, they're all zombies, so you get the plus three. Fires, you can destroy spell and traps on the field. And in Synchros, you can destroy one monster on the field. That's why I'm running Squire Saga over Shogun Saga. You can replace this with Shogun Saga. When Shogun Saga is on the board, it banishes a zombie, it gains attack. If this charge is on the field, destroyed by battle, you can target one banished zombie monster with zero defense, return it to the graveyard. So that's really just okay with, with like, oh boy here, um, Solitaire, your graceful Mayakashis. Like, it, it just brings those back. Um, I like I just like Squire Saga more. And then we run Sun Saga, because when Star Saga is on the field, you choose any number of your synchro monsters, zombie synchro monsters, put them back into your extra deck, and you can pop monsters equal to the amount of numbers you bring back. So a lot of times you can bring them back if you just want to redo the synchro climb again, or you can send back the ones you need to destroy cards on the field, and then you can keep bringing them back. Definitely run the one Sun Saga. Overall, I think this deck is really awesome. I really do enjoy playing it. I haven't got the full hang of it, but I think I got the combos down pretty well today. On that note, guys, um, if you like this video, make sure you hit it with a like button, subscribe down below, and hit the bell for notifications as this video gets 10 likes. I'll put out a fourth video later this week. I love you. I appreciate you guys. This is Marcy Super on the Marcy Super channel, and the Mars is out.